One of the most powerful aspects of Smoke 2013 is that you have a full node-based compositor built directly into your timeline. Each clip or multiple clips can be brought into ConnectFX where you have access to a wide variety of powerful tools. And you apply a Connect Effects to a clip in the timeline just as you would apply any timeline effect using the Effects ribbon. You can access the Effects ribbon in several different ways from a right click menu. You can also use a shortcut hotkey combination to access the Effect ribbon or you can click the Effects button over on the left hand side and here again you access the Effects ribbon. The first option on the left side is Create Connect Effects. As soon as I click on that, we step into Connect Effects. As I mentioned, Connect Effects is a full node based composite environment that is still connected to your timeline. When you step into Connect Effects with a single clip selected from the timeline, you'll receive a node that represents the clip that is in the timeline and a result node, which is the connection back to the timeline. By default, ConnectFX is set up in a two view layout, with your left side being your schematic view and your right side being the result view. You'll also notice that if you have the media library displayed in your timeline layout, it will also be displayed inside ConnectFX. You can hide and control what side the media library will be displayed in just like you can in the timeline right here inside of ConnectFX. Looking at the bottom of the UI, you will see your bin layouts with all your tools available to you and a scroll bar along the bottom of the bin to access all the tools. There are several different bins that are available to you for performing different type of tasks, but understand that all the tools are available in the All Nodes bin, and you can create and customize your own bin. To add a tool into the flow, it's as simple as picking it up, such as a color correction tool, dragging it over into the schematic, and dropping it on the connection line when it is highlighted. Now we have the original media going into a color correction tool that then goes into the result node. To hide and display the node bins along the bottom of the UI and access each tool's parameters, click on the FX node button and the nodes will be hidden. And now as I select a tool in the schematic view, the parameters relevant to that node will then be displayed in the bottom part of the UI. With the color correction tool selected, I can now come in here and make the adjustments to the color correction tools that I desire. Increasing contrast, adjusting my gain, and create a specific look I'm trying to achieve. If I want to add another tool into the flow, I can click on the effects node once again, and then I can find another tool such as a glow, and I can pick up that tool and drag and drop that also into the flow. Now we have our original footage source going into a color correction, going into the glow, going into the result node. I now have achieved the look that I want, and I want to return to my timeline. Below the schematic view on the left hand side, you'll see the button that reads Exit CFX. I click this and we go back into our timeline and you'll see the end result is now displayed in the player. If I zoom in a little bit in the timeline and expand the size of the track, you will see that there is an indication that there is a connect effects applied to this clip. Also in the effects pipeline, you can see indication that there is a CFX, a connect effects applied to this clip. Notice the dashed black line along the top of this clip. This is indicating that my connect effects needs to be rendered. So I'll click the render button over on the left hand side and on the bottom we can see the progress of the render. Once the render is complete, I can now scrub and play back my clip and see the end result of my connect effects. The connect effects in the timeline works just like any other timeline effect you apply to a clip, meaning we can copy and paste this onto other clips. For example, if I scrub over to this clip here, I pick up my connect effects from my effects flow, I can drop it right onto this clip and it is now applied to that clip also. You can also right click and choose copy and then right click on another clip and choose paste connect effects. Now the connect effects has been applied to all three of these clips. You can remove or delete a connect effects by simply selecting the node that has the connect effects and choosing remove connect effects. Or you can select the connect effects in the timeline or inside the effects flow, right click and choose delete. And of course, just like anything inside of Smoke, if you pick something up and drag it to the bottom of your UI, you will be throwing it away once you see the garbage can. I'll select the same clip again and I'll go back to my effects ribbon. And before I click connect effects, I want to point out this option called generate adjustment segment. I'll enable this and then again click the create connect effects button. It appears the same process has taken place. The only difference is notice what the file reads. It reads back clip. It isn't giving me the name of the clip that I had selected in the timeline. 
This will make more sense when we exit out of ConnectFX in just a second. But for right now, just understand because we created an adjustment segment, the incoming clip is considered a back clip. But just like before, I can now access my effects nodes, and if I want to add another tool, such as a damage tool, I'll drop that into the pipeline, and then I'll discard my FX nodes by clicking on the button so I can access the damage tools. I would like to load a damage preset, so I'll click on the arrow next to the word that reads presets and choose the preset named Bad Transition. I'll receive a confirm operation dialog box, which I will confirm. So now you can see that the damage tool is creating a specific effect to this clip. Now I want to return back to the timeline once again, so I choose Exit CFX. Now look in the timeline. Here's the clip that I had selected. You'll notice in the effects pipeline and also inside the timeline, there is no indication that there is a connect effects applied to this clip. That's because when you choose this option, Generate Adjustment Segment, Smoke will create a new layer and it will place the effect above the clip that was selected and this is where the connect effects has been applied to. If I expand the height of that track, you can see there is the connect effects that was applied to the adjustment segment above the selected clip or clips if you have multiple clips selected. Let me discard this again to show you one more workflow. I'll go back down to the clip that I've been working on. And let's say I want to add a timeline effects to this, such as a color correction. So I go back to my effects ribbon. I choose color correction. I want to make some adjustments to my color correction right here in the timeline, such as my saturation, maybe start to adjust the gain, the red, the blue, and so on, just like we did before to create a stylized or specific look that we're trying to create. But now I want to take this clip into Connect Effects. So once again, I go to the Effects ribbon and notice that the option Generate Composite is now available to me. I'm not going to enable it just yet, but I will click Create Connect Effects. Again, we step in just as we did before. We see the original footage source and its name, and again, we can do something like add another damage tool to this and then go to the damage tool. And again, I'll just load a preset. This time I'll do security camera and then exit out of CFX. In the timeline now, you'll see we have our original media source, then it goes into connect effects, and then the color correction takes place. So the color correction is being processed after the connect effects. Let me select this connect effects and choose remove. So we're back to having just the color correction. This time, when I access my effects ribbon, I'll turn on Generate Composite. Then when I click Create Connect Effects, we step into Connect Effects, but notice what happened. The color correction that we created outside the timeline has now been converted to a Connect Effects color correction. Our selected clip in the timeline, again, now feeds into Connect Effects, and then an action node has been created. Because we asked Smoke to create a composite, it adds an action node, which is the 3D compositor inside of Connect Effects. And by default, if I go to the Media tab, you'll see a layer has been created, and the input to that layer is that color correction, which is applied upon our clip from the timeline. So now if I wanted to, I can continue adding more tools, compositing different elements together with the action node that then goes out to our result, which is connected to our timeline. Once I am done with my connect effects, again, I choose exit connect effects. We go back out to our timeline, but notice the difference. The color correction that was in our effects pipeline has now been converted into connect effects, and we can only access that color correction tool by entering connect effects. So these are the different ways you can take your clip or clips into Connect Effects to access the full variety of tools that the node-based compositor in Smoke 2013 offers you.